भगवान शब्द थे So Krishna is explaining Arjun this. The super soul is the origin cause, origin source of all senses. Yet he is without senses. He is unattached. Although he is the maintainer of all living entities, he transcends the modes of nature, and at the same time he is master of all the modes of nature. <clears throat> the su the supreme truth exists both internally and externally in the moving and the non-moving. He is beyond the power of the material senses to see or to know. Although far, far away, he is also near to all. <clears throat> Although the super soul appears to be divided, he is never divided. He is situated as as one. Although he is maintainer of every living entity, it is to be understood that he devours and develops all. He is the source of light in all the luminous objects. Luminous objects. He is beyond the darkness of matter and is unmanifested. He is knowledge. He is the object of knowledge. He is the goal of knowledge. He is situated in everyone's heart. <clears throat> Thus, the field of activities, this bo the body, knowledge, and the knowledgeable have been summarized, summar summarily described by me. Only my devotee can understand them thoroughly, and thus attain my nature. So now we'll see what you know, Krishna is trying to explain to Arjun. You know, Krishna starts. You know, you know, Krishna is giving Arjun the knowledge. You know, Arjun asks, you know, "What is Shetra? What is Shetra Gya? You know, what is the work? What is the field? What is that field? What is the work? What is the field of activities?" You know who controls them. Everything Arjun asks Krishna. So Krishna is one by one answering all these questions. Krishna says that you know, knowing the supreme truth as you know in, in complete perfection is knowledge. Most of the people, you know, they think that God is nirakar. He is formless. You know, and some people they think God has form. And then some people think that God is Paramatma in our heart. You know, like it is like you know, example is given: blind man, you are blind, you know, blindfolded, or, or really blind, and you try to understand what is an elephant. So someone will hold the trunk of an elephant, and will describe the elephant as a, you know, pipe. You know, someone will hold the tail of an elephant, and will describe the elephant as a rope. Someone will hold the leg of an elephant, and we describe the elephant as a tree. So different visions people will, according to their realization. So some people who are seeing God from very far, they are they can only reach to the stage of Brahman realization. You go little closer to God, then you understand the Paramatma feature of the Lord. And when you go completely close to the Lord, you are standing. That time you understand the Bhagwan feature. The example is given in the night time, when you see the train coming from far, the first thing you see is the light. So a person on the platform may may explain, "Oh, I saw the train." You know, he may describe the train. Okay, what did you see? I saw I saw light, huh? because he is seeing the train from very far. So according to his understanding, the train is a light. You know, but as the train moves closer and closer to the 
railway station and the second person will say oh i can see the light and the compartments so that like that is like the paramatma you are little closer to the to the supreme supreme truth and the third person when the train comes and stops at the platform now he will see the train in complete completeness he will see the light he will see the compartment and he will see the passengers inside the compartment you know so when you see the supreme truth absolute truth from very far away you see him as a light here krishna is saying i am that, that you know that beginningless that is called brahman the spirit is subordinate to me he is saying is subordinate to me ha huh? anab anadimat param brahma beginningless you know mat para brahm param mat param matlab subordinate to me it is subordinate matlab i am krishna and it is subordinate to me means it is less than me or it is dependent on me ha huh? so the so the the light which we people say is dependent on krishna you know krishna is the cause of that light then bhagavad gita the krishna you know is explaining and he is destroying the mayavad philosophy one by one you know the nirakar philosophy which which is which, which 99% of people in india they think that god is nirakar he has no akar you know so one by one krishna you know you know is destroying that argument that no oh, i am not nirakar i have a form what that is that thing you think that is nirakar is the brahman that is subordinate to me i am the you know basis of the imperishable brahman krishna says so the brahman is coming from me and in the isho anishad he says you know if the prayer is there oh the absolute to remove the effulgent that is covering your face and reveal to us your beautiful face so by that we understand we can understand that and beyond beyond the light is supreme god for example you know now from 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 earth what would, what would, what do we see the sun planet we only see heat and light you know we see nothing beyond you know we can't see in the the sun sun the, the sun god who is residing in the sun planet vivashwan we can't see him like the naked eye but a person who goes near then you know from here we cannot even see you know how many mountains are there on sun or what is there nothing we can see we can only see the light and the heat that's it because we are seeing sun from very far but suppose in the future the astronauts and all they they can you know uh, go to the sun planet then they can see you know there's land there there would maybe mountains there there will be so many things there minerals there everything there they will see more detail you know and and uh, like you know and a person like you know who is spiritually advanced like arjun or like hanuman and all they can meet the sun god also vishwan so three aspects of the sun you know the light and the heat the sun planet and the sun god we are three aspects of sun god sun sun planet similarly the absolute truth ka teen aspect hota hai the brahman the nirakar the parmatma the localized which is there in our heart you know and and krishna swayam himself who is ishvara parama krishna sachid ananda vigraha brahma ji describes krishna as ishvara parama krishna you no know, he is the uh, there men they can be many ishvara but krishna is the topmost ishvara ishvara parama krishna sachid ananda vigraha he has a vigraha he has a form god is not niraka brahma ji saying whom who whom to believe then you know brahma ji or some you know people in india they say oh god is niraka kisko mano gaya when brahma is saying brahma is the he is a creator of this brahmand sishtikar no he is the secondary sishtikar he created this brahmand so whom will you listen to you listen to brahma or you listen to some people you know any you know any tom dick and harry on this in you know who is giving gyan on some t- news some social media platform some youtube video or some you know asta and all you know they are coming and giving gyan no you listen to brahma right so he is authorized he knows he is the prajapati's you know he is the father of all the prajapati from him all the prajapati's came the from him manus came and from and we got the name manav from manu because we all descendants of manu so we all have come in one way one way or the directly or indirectly through brahma only he is actually the secondary creator krishna is the first creator he is a he is a bij pradapita and then that bija is expanded into many form by brahma so he so he knows he knows the entire brahmand what is worth you know and he knows krishna also so he he sees he is telling us he has seen krishna 
you know, um, Brahma saw Krishna when Krishna appeared in Vrindavan. That time, two, three times he, he, he went and saw Krishna. So he knows that, you know, he's not speaking out of his, you know, illusion. He knows what he's speaking. So when he says Brahma in Brahma Samhita, which is the most important literature, Shastra, he says, Ishwara Parama Krishna, Satchit Ananda Vigraha. You know, our body is made up of matter. Earth, water, fire, air, ether. This is matter. But Krishna also has a form, Vigraha, but his body is not earth, water, fire, air, ether. His body is Satchit Ananda. Sat means, you know, eternity. Chit means uh, knowledgeable, no, knowing knowledge, full of knowledge and Ananda. Or full of existence and Ananda. You know, full of bliss. So this is Krishna's body. You know, so uh, just like you go near fire, you'll feel heat. You know, go near cold, you'll feel, you know, go, go near a cold mountain, uh, a snow mountain, you'll feel the cold. Similarly, if you come near Krishna, get, a, get connected with Krishna, you'll become eternal, Satchit Ananda, because you'll start feeling that, you know, vibrations from Krishna. You know, you start feeling the bliss, you start feeling the uh, Anandamaya, you know, uh, Anandamaya platform you'll at once be situated on. And you feel the knowledgeable platform, you know, you'll get all knowledge. And because the, where, wherever there is Krishna, there cannot be ignorance. So complete knowledge will be revealed to you. And you'll lead an eternal life. Just become if you become connected with Krishna. So that's why in Kaliuga, Krishna comes. You know, Krishna is giving us his opportunity in Kaliuga. What opportunity? <laughs> to connect with him. You know, uh, Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Vatar. Very important we want to understand. Oh, Prabhuji, you're talking, you know, to uh, connect with Krishna so that we can become eternal, we can become full of knowledge and we can enjoy, you know, bliss. But how to connect with Krishna? No, Krishna has come for us in Kali Yuga. Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Vatar. Kali Kal means in the age of Kali Yuga. Nam Rupe, in the holy name. In his Nam, Krishna Nam. Nam Rupe, Nam has taken the Rupe, the Rupe has taken the Nam. Krishna's form has taken Krishna's Nam. Nam ke rup mein aaye. Kali Kali Nam Rupe Krishna Vatar. Krishna has taken Avatar. So this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare is what? It is sound vibration, incarnated sound vibration of Krishna. It's non different from Krishna. There is no difference between Krishna and Krishna's name. Huh? Nam Chintamani, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. Nam Chintamani, Krishna's name is Chintamani. What is Chintamani? Whatever you desire, you know, there is money, Paras money, Chinta. The Paras money can turn anything into gold. And Chintamani means whatever you want, desire. In your mind, you will get that. So Nam Chintamani, Nam is that Chintamani. Whatever you desire, with, when you're chanting the holy name, you will get it. If you want Krishna, you'll get Krishna. If you want Bhakti, you'll get Bhakti. If you want Golok, you'll get Golok. Uh, if you want the material world, you'll get the material world nicely, you know, which is everything. But a person who has Krishna, why will he want anything material? You know, the nice, nice pastime. You know, once a very rich person, you know, he went to Vrindavan to, he had heard that there's a Goswami in Vrindavan called Jiva Goswami. He has a money. You know, so you 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 if you, if, you know you can take that money and you can make, touch that money to anything and become gold. So these rich merchant, you know, they travel through the Yamuna boat you know, on the boat and they reach Vrindavan and they went and meet met Jiva Goswami. And they did some menial seva for Jiva Goswami to make him happy. <laughs> so after all the sevas and all, you know, they were sitting and conversing with Jiva Goswami. And so Jiva Goswami asked him, "What do you want?" So these, you know, father, son and two, three more people, you know, they told, oh, Maharaj, oh, Babaji, you know, you have a money, you have a money, right? We have heard that you have a money, you know, so can you give us that money? So Jiva Goswami said, okay, you know, you can see that dustbin, that money is then dustbin, you take it. So those father, son, duo, they went to the dustbin, they searched the dustbin, you know, it was all thrown, you know, dustbin means we throw things, you know, we keep that. So then they searched in the in the dirt and you know and all those things and then they saw oh in, in the in deep inside the dustbin there is a money lying so they took the money and they paid their dhanvat to jiva goswami and they left <clears throat> so while going back the son to ask the father you know I, I have a doubt you know what you know that baba ji has kept this precious money which can turn anything into gold in a dustbin and what do you keep in the dustbin? Unwanted things, rejected things. You know, dustbin means kachira, kura, you know, dirt. And throw, we have to throw that thing, you know. Uh, that thing is not, you know, not 
it has no meaning to us we keep that thing in the dustbin so he has kept this money in the dustbin that means he has something greater there greater with him so they again go to you know jiva goswami and they say oh maharaj oh baba ji we have a we have a question so what question he said you know you you kept this paras money in the dustbin you know that means you have something greater than this money he said yes he said what maharaj he said first you go and put that paras money again in the dustbin so they went in the dustbin and said okay i have chintamani nam chintamani you want nam chintamani if you take this nam chintamani this is chintamani that is just paras money only can gold turn into gold but this chintamani will give you krishna who is the pati who is the husband of millions and millions of goddess of fortune lakshmi devi is so when lakshmi devi is you know if you have krishna you'll have all the lakshmi only why one paras money you have the whole brahmanda if you become krishna's son krishna's daughters you know you have every, everything with you so i have nam chintamani you want that so this the father and son son dio said okay okay give us that you know so jiva goswami gave them gave gave them initiation into the hari krishna maha mantra and told them to chant the maha mantra and very soon they realized krishna you know with the experience krishna by chanting so nam chintamani chaitanya rasa vigraha it is chaitanya it is not da- dead matter you know like we call co cola co cola co cola co cola you know we will get frustrated after some time if you call you know any other thing you know uh, stool 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 tv 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 you know like that you know you will become very frustrated after some time you will develop a headache but if you if you if you call krishna 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 ram 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 jai shri ram jai shri krishna hare krishna hare krishna and you can go on go on getting more and more ecstasy more and more you know rasa you will get because this this is chaitanya rasa it is full of rasa this whole naam and is chaitanya it is not dead matter it is full of life it has chetana in it this this hari naam is not dead matter it is chetana mai it has light it is life in it and it will make you alive you are spiritually dead right now we all are spiritually dead we are on the lap of maya enjoying maya you know <clears throat> so spiritually we all are dead materially we may be awake our body you know is enjoying material but soul is dead you know is sleeping you know jeeva jago jeeva jago gaura chandra bole ha uh, the song is there the gaura chandra is telling that wake up sleeping soul wake up sleeping sleeping soul how long will you sit uh, lie on the lap of the witch called maya you know so get up so this hari krishna maha mantra is full of life and it will give you life means it will infuse life in you it will make you spiritually awakened uh, you know we, we have forgotten our relationship with krishna because of the material world discovering this body covering we are we are pure spirit soul we are soul we have a body but we think that we are body who has a soul you know it's a very we have to you have to understand it different we are soul who has a body so we are spiritual who is having a human experience we are not human who is having a who will have a spiritual experience no we are spiritual we are soul we have a body you know so very how fast we can get rid of this understanding that we we are body and we have a soul you know the the faster we get rid of this we are body and we have a soul the better we will advance spiritually because we are spirit soul who have a, who has the material body and the material body is you know covering it the the qualities of the soul like the the rust you know when it goes when it covers the iron for iron then the iron cannot get attached to magnet you know if the iron become rusted it cannot get attached to the magnet so you have to again uh, remove the rust from the iron and once it is removed then again it will get attached to magnet similarly this material body is like that rust you know this the soul is pure sachid ananda it is pure it is krishna's part and parcel am uh, um, bija pata pita krishna says you know it's my part and parcel i am the seed giving father mava amsa jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana all the living entities are my amsha you know uh, self from from time immemorial time, time eternal so i and our sarupi jeevana sarupi krishna nitya das we all krishna servants but due to this body it is rusted rust material rust we have forgotten that you know so we have to revive so how will we revive naam chintamani chaitanya rasa vigraha chaitanya you know it will make us this holy name will make us alive awakened spiritually awakened and it will be able to realize our swarup our spiritual form this is knowledge you know krishna is talking the knowledge this is knowledge you know and then how will we realize the whole process is there chetu darpanam majanam will happen our heart will get purified you know as we chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare as we chant more and more and more 
then the the coverings kam krod lob mo mad matsh you know everything but, uh, you know lust anger greed envy you know all these things one by one will start going leaving us and just like the mirror cheto darpanam majanam you know the mirror is dusted right now so you can't see yourself once you start cleaning the mirror and, and the dust is gone then you can see who you are right similarly right now our chit our consciousness is dusted by kaam krodh dob mo so when we chant hari krishna maha mantra bans the the hari krishna maha mantra which is non different from krishna it starts cleaning our lust anger greed envy and then it completely cleans uh, then what what happens then we are able to experience our spiritual you know our spiritual nature we are spiritual then right now because we are covered because of this metal covering then the covering goes away by chanting this hari krishna maha mantra because the hari krishna maha mantra access you know life you know it it infuses you know chetna in in our you know uh, in this in the you know the soul the spirit soul which it connects with the spirit soul the soul is chanting so uh, the all the covering you know jaise fire hota hai na fire up uh, you know if you go in drilling or anywhere you go you know where people weld weld so they use the fire to weld right they use the fire similarly the hari krishna maha mantra exact like that fire it cuts or it welds it cuts away all the you know kaam krodh lob and then the real nature of the soul comes out uday nitya siddha krishna prem sadhya kabon hoy shravan adi suddha chite karo uday shravan adi you hear you chant the holy name and the uday it will it will you know rise like the sun rises in the morning and all the darkness goes away similarly who we are we will be able to experience you know who we are once we start chanting so this is chintamani it will make us chintamani it will make us chaitanya chaitan rasa vigraha you know it is the embodiment of rasa embodiment of rasa this holy name so the holy name will reveal to us in which rasa we are you know you can have many relationship with krishna you know this is knowledge krishna explain to arjun you know only a devotee can understand all these things krishna is saying no no anyone else so krishna is saying there are many relationship you can have with me right now in the material world we are having many relationships we are having father mother husband wife children you know, lover you know friends uh, servants you know neutral someone is neutral you know so many relationships are there but we are not able to experience fulfillment within those relationships you know because uh, every relationship is temporary in the material world it comes with an expiry date you know either you you are you lose that person in the journey in between only you know you that person leaves you or you know your your wife can leave you your girlfriend your boyfriend can leave you your friends leaves you leave, leave you so you experience so many you know heartbreaks or leaving you know you experience or the time factor will permanently take them away from you at the time of death so nothing is permanent here we all want a relationship that is permanent because we are permanent we are eternal and we are looking after relationship that is eternal but because of this kal chakra and because of this material body because the, the nature of matter is to die in matter comes it grows it produces some by products it dwindles and in the end it vanishes this is this is the nature of matter the matter cannot live for eternity so because we are all trapped in matter we also have to experience birth death old age disease birth death old age like this circle the cycle goes on and on and on so one who chants the holy name you know he can get liberated from krishna says you know krishna gives us this, this science you know he can live and he can redevelop his relationship with krishna eternal relationship with krishna and what are those dasyaras dasyaras shantaras dasyaras sakhyaras vatsalaras and madhuriras in all these things this is the rasa you know this is the embodiment of relationship you can have with krishna if you 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 want to be you want a perfect master you know you have boss he exploits you but krishna never exploits he will do more for you than you can do for krishna right he can he will do more like you know krishna has all the servants you know and is so many times he you know if you read uh, the shastra you know you'll come to know that krishna takes care of his servants more than you know the servant takes care of krishna in shantaras you know krishna takes care of you know in shantaras all the yamuna and uh, the trees and everything they come in shantaras so krishna uses you know they want to serve krishna and krishna uses each and every you know personality in shantaras like the peacock you know he dances in front of krishna and so krishna has taken the peacock feather and puts you know 
because it has done the best service for Krishna. So Krishna acknowledges everyone's service. No one, no master will acknowledge. You know, your, none of your master will keep anything belonging to in, on your on his head. You know, no, none of your corporate bosses or you know they will keep. You know, you, you may give them some present. They may take it and they may keep it in the cupboard or sometime they may use it or they may give the, that present to someone else. Right? But Krishna, you know, peacock danced for Krishna and Krishna took the peacock feather and he put it on his more mukut, on his mukut, you know, and permanently there on the mukut. So Krishna acknowledges each and every one, you know, Basuri, you know, the, 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 uh, the bamboo wanted to serve Krishna as a Basuri. So Krishna took it and he made the Venu, Basuri, you know, Murli, so many different, different ways. Krishna and let them serve. So Krishna was fulfilling everyone's desire and they were very happy, you know. And when, and, and, and when Krishna plays his flute, even the, the cows, the deers, you know, everyone, they become very ecstatic hearing Krishna's flute. The kakus start singing. You know, so these are all in the Shantaras. Then in Dasyaras, you know, they serve Krishna and Krishna serves them more. Krishna takes care of their food, their sleeping, their, you know, all their activities. Then in, in Sakyaras, friendship, you know, you, you, no one can have a friend like Krishna. You know, he's an eternal friend and he will give you more bliss and bliss and he will never disappoint you. Sudama, you know, the example, you know, he never disappointed, you know, he, you know, you know he, he went with, you know, to Krishna with some, you know, broken rice and Krishna gave him the mehel, right? So, and but before that, when Krishna was in Vrindavan, a uh, fruit, uh, fruit, you know, uh, fruit, wali, you know, the lady who sells fruit, she came and Krishna told, okay, I want all the fruits. <laughs> so, the lady said, oh, you know, this fruit costs money. So, Krishna said, okay, I'm coming. So Krishna went inside. He, he took some pearls and he came running outside, you know, uh, to give the pearls to that lady. And those pearls were all falling, 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 falling off, you know. Uh, and when at the, the, the moment he, he reached that lady, all there was nothing left in his hand. You know, there were no pearls. So, but the lady was so mesmerized by Krishna, you know, his, his sweetness, his bholapan, his cute smile, his running, you know, that he said, okay, okay, take this. You know, you know, she she fell in love and she, she went in love with Krishna. She said, "Okay, take this. You know, you take this." So Krishna took that, you know, uh, fruits, uh, and then he took the fruit. And the moment that fruit fruit lady turned back to look at her tokri, the whole tokri was filled with jewels and everything. So Krishna gave much much more. Then you know, uh, he he took from that. Similarly, Krishna in Dasaras, in Sakharas, in Vatsalyaras. In Madhuri Ras, Krishna gives more. In Madhuri Ras, we all know, you know, he's Parabrahm. You know, Krishna is Parabrahm. But he becomes, that Parabrahm becomes servant of Srimati Radharani or the gopis, you know. And, you know, it is said that, you know, he, he, he wants, you know, he, in Gita Govinda, there's a beautiful verse comes where it is said, oh, Srimati Radharani, you know, give me your leg, you know, I'll put it on my head. You know, and, you know, imagine Krishna putting someone's leg on his head. You know, so Krishna is giving more importance to his devotee than himself. Arjun, we all know Arjun, right? You know, what did Krishna become? He became a cherry driver, driver. A driver is not a good job. No one wants to become a driver. Everyone wants to become a master. And Arjun is a devotee of Krishna, but reciprocation, just see the reciprocation. Krishna was ready to become the driver of Arjun, his devotee. This is Krishna's love. So Krishna's, perf you know, anything you experience with Krishna is perfection. Draupadi, you know, she, no one could save her. You know, she thought that her husband will save her, right? She was running here and there, everywhere, you know, uh, when she was being disrobed, you know, in the uh, Raj Sabha, you know, first she went to Yudhishthir and he said, oh, you are my husband, save me. Yudhishthir could not save. Then she went to Gandhi Dhari Arjun. Oh, Arjun, you are the biggest warrior. What is happening to your wife? Save me. He couldn't save. Then she went to Bhimsen. Oh, thousands elephant he could you know smash he couldn't save her no one could save then she went to you know Bhishma Pitama oh Bhishma Pitama you are the, the greatest warrior who fought with Parshuram and who has fought with Lord Shiva and he's got Pashupati Astra from them you can't you save me no even he couldn't save Maryada sab, sab Maryada se bande hoye the. and then she went to Trunachare Kripachare to you know you, this disaster. No one could save her. Who came to save? She said, Go, Vinda. Just raised her hand and said, Go, Vinda. The best friend came. The best friend came to save her. That much faith she had that he will come. 
and he came that much love she had so the moment we will develop also that relationship with krishna you know uh, that that bond has to be strong we have to make our bond with krishna very strong you understand so this process of bhakti with krishna is learning you know this process krishna is giving the knowledge and the process it is that it is that which will make our bond with krishna strong and once our bond with krishna becomes stronger then the moment will will shout krishna he will come running to us i'm coming serving you know, he will, he will ser- start he will serve us more than we serve him you know we all know durvasa muni right durvasa muni you know uh, duryodhan you know he was a very cruel person uh, and he was he wanted to take advantage of durvasa muni so he told durvasa muni oh muni muni ji you know durvasa ji muni ji you know my my cousin brothers are here only they are staying somewhere near you know and they will be very happy if you oblige them with your presence and have prasadam at their place so in the other word he was like you know uh, wanting to send durvasa muni there so that you know durvasa muni gets angry and curses them because you know, once dropadi had you know dropadi had this akshe patra and you know it never it would it would never get finished but once she has then it will be finished you know, till uh, dropadi had her food it will it will it can produce unlimited food so duryodhan knew that the dropadi had already already you know by the time durvasa muni will reach you know dropadi would have had the food and then you know uh, durvasa muni with one lakh of his disciples he reached there and you know they will have to serve him because you know if a rishi for rishi muni comes to your house it is the duty of a grastha grastha you know grast uh, to serve them very properly wash their feet offer them food and you know very nicely serve them that's a duty otherwise you know uh, you have you know obviously the a good you know a, a muni who is who has control over his senses will not curse but durvasa muni was very fiery very you know muni at the drop of his head he is to get angry so at durvasa knew this trick so he went he you know he sent durvasa muni you know oh you go there you know and you know you you know uh, give a chance to my cousin brothers also to serve you okay so you know he they went there durvasa muni you know and by the time dropadi had eaten her prasadam her and there was nothing left so duryodhan yudhishthir told durvasa muni okay you know why don't you go and you know take bath you know by the time you know you take bath you know we'll we'll keep the asan everything ready and your food ready <clears throat> so durvasa muni went to take bath with his one lakh disciples and by the time draupadi was like you know i have nothing what to do you know just ek ek rice ka dana hai bas iske andar one rice sir. everything we all finished so they were all in sar pakad ke baithe the so then draupadi remembers hey keshav help me and krishna comes you know krishna comes there because the bond is so strong so we have to make this bond with krishna very strong so this practice bhakti is a practice by which the bond with krishna becomes stronger and stronger day by day as our bond becomes stronger day by day and then one day you know when we'll be free from all vikaras 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 means anarthas birth death old age you know sorry you know kaam krodh lobh moh you know all these anarthas will be free then we'll reach the stage of nishtha you know there are different stages of bhakti it starts with shraddha komal shraddha like all of you are here because you have some shraddha you know some some komal shraddha you have that krishna is god okay you know he, or you know or you love krishna whatever you know and you all are here to hear about krishna this is shraddha then what happens then the next step is once you have this shraddha then to make your shraddha stronger and to make your shraddha not just sentimental but you know knowledgeable shraddha you start doing you know you you go you start associating with devotees like minded devotees sadhu sangha like you know if you want to learn you go to learn something you go to school similarly you know if you want to advance more in bhakti then you go to a guru or you go to a devotee sadhu and he he teaches you the principles of bhakti how to progress in bhakti so shraddha sadhu sang and then the sadhu teaches you how to practice how to how with that practice you can make the bond with krishna stronger so he, he teaches you that that is called bhajana kriya you know chanting hare krishna maha mantra following the the do's and the don'ts you know do means you know um, you know get up early in the morning offer bhoga to krishna 
you know, chant Hare Krishna in the monk, in the Brahma Murta time, you know, offer whatever you eat to Krishna, you know, do some seva, some practical devotion seva, you know, like we have so much opportunity here, you know, his conning has, is, you know, so such vibrant online sevas are going on on his conning, where around more than 100 devotees are engaged daily, you know, from morning to night in seva, voluntary seva. So when you do this seva, you know, empty mind, devil's workshop. So your mind is occupied with seva, Krishna seva. So your thoughts are, your mind is thinking about Krishna always, you know, when, when you're doing the seva. So like that, your, your bond with Krishna is becoming more and more powerful. So the bond becomes powerful with seva. Then sadhu sang, uh, sadhana, you know, sadhana. You know, you do sadhana, chanting everything, that was bhajan kriya. And with sadhu sang. So with that, your bond is getting better and better and better day by day. So what happens then all the anarthas, aparads, anarthas, it goes away. That's called anartha nivriti. The stage where, the cleaning stage of all the anarthas. You know, your kam, kro, do, mo, attachment, bhukti, mukti, siddhi, whatever, you know, your, 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 you want to enjoy sense gratification, you want some impersonal liberation or you want some, you know, followers, you know, all these things, you know, it goes slowly, slowly, slowly. Na dhanam, na janam, na sundarim, kavitam, va jagdisha kamae. Na dhanam, you know, so a devotee develops this, this consciousness, oh, I don't want dhanam, I don't want money now. His, because his heart is getting purified, he's getting spiritualized, he's awakening his, 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 reawakening his spiritual consciousness. So once you're spiritually conscious, you don't require anything material. You don't want anything material. So money is material. Na dhanam, so I don't require any dhanam. Na dhanam, na janam, oh, I don't want any more birth here. Oh, I don't want a good birth here, good birth, no good birth here. No, no, na dhanam, na janam, na sundari, no women, no nothing. Na kavitam, no followers. I don't want even followers. Then what do you want? Bhagavad bhakti ki. I will just want Krishna's bhakti. So this desire starts coming in you because all the anarthas are going. Anartha nivriti is happening. And your nishtha, strong faith. First, you came with komal faith, shraddha. Now the faith is becoming stronger. Now you are able to understand Krishna with knowledge, jnana. And that gyan is getting turning into vigyan. Just not theoretical knowledge, but, but practical knowledge. So theory knowledge is your body. You are, so you are, you are, so you are not the body. That is you know, theoretical knowledge. You know, everyone can say, oh, I am the soul, I am the soul. But you don't know who you are. You know, because the soul has a form. So you have not seen yourself. Right? So that is just jnana, theoretical knowledge. So at the stage of nishtha, that theoretical knowledge start turning into practical vigyan. You, you begin to realize because all your anathas are going, so now that you are able to see the mirror very clean. So in the mirror, you can see your face, your, yourself very cleanly. Clearly, you can see. So you begin to realize, oh, you are spirit soul. You are not this body. And simultaneously, you begin to realize Krishna. Krishna also, you begin to develop a strong bond with Krishna. So nishta, asakti ruchi, asakti. Maya sakta mana partha yoga You start developing asakti for Krishna. From ruchi and then asakti. We will start getting taste in the holy name. You will start getting rasa vigraha. Uh, Chaitanya rasa vigraha. Right? So you start getting the, ray, the taste in the holy name. First you are doing mechanically. You are doing by force when you come. You know, like we tell, get up in the morning. So you can't get up in the morning. You have to put the alarm to get up in the morning. Then we say, okay, chant 16 round. You can't chant 16 round. You have to force yourself. Then we say, oh, no onion garlic, no meat, no intoxication, no sex. Oh, it's so tough, Prabhuji. Oh, you know, you have to force everything. But then at the same nishtha, as you move to ruchi, taste, nothing becomes, you know, forceful now. You start enjoying things. Oh, you don't, you don't no longer want to eat. You just, you know, your, your body can no longer take onion garlic or meat eating or, you know, you will just puke it because your body is getting spiritualized now. Your, your, your soul is awakening, has awakened, revived his consciousness, beginning to revive, slowly, slowly getting revived. And your body also starts spiritualizing getting spiritualized. So you don't like onion garlic, you don't like meat eating, you don't like intoxication, you don't like gambling, you don't like, sex, you don't like all these things. You, know, you just want to enjoy the bliss of Krishna consciousness because you're developing a relationship with Krishna. So this is what happens, ruchi. So you start getting taste in the holy name. It becomes very much blissful, enjoyable. You know, bhakti, like Prabhupada used to say, Guru Maharaj, that bhakti in the beginning can be like poison, but in the end it is nectar. Material life in the beginning is nectar, but in the end poison because you leave everything and you die. So in the beginning, it may be a little difficult chanting, getting up every day in the morning, taking bath, cold water bath, chanting Hare Krishna, 
you know, following the four regular principles, doing seva, sadhana, you know, your mind going here and there, troubling you. So it is difficult in the in the beginning. But as you uh, go go on practicing, 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 make man, man perfect, you come to the stage of nishtha and ruchi. So ruchi at the stage of ruchi, you start getting taste now. Now no longer you have to put alarm to get up. Automatically at four o'clock you'll get up in the morning. You stand in Brahma Murta time at one go with very nice feeling and very nice taste. You stand down in him, you know. And then you won't be able, to find it difficult to leave. You know, you have no desire to have all these onion garlic and all these things. And seva will become spontaneous. You will think you will not want to make make lose even a moment, waste even a moment that is not spent in seva and Krishna consciousness. So that is what start happening, Guruji. Then you develop asakti. Asakti is the bond. This bond with Krishna. Asakt. Maya sakta mana partha. Yoga junjan madashtraya. Yoga. Yoga. This yoga means link. Aap, is asakti se aapka link bond Krishna se ho gaya permanently. Develop ho gaya. Then emotion start bhava. And then prema hai, Love of God. Hai. This is how you. So this is how you develop. You know your. Your relationship with Krishna. Naam chintamani chaitanya rasa vigraha. So you also develop a, you also realize your form because Krishna's Nam is a, is a, is a, is a Nam is form. You know, it is not just, like I say, not just matter, dead matter, you know, it is spiritual, Krishna's Nam. So it has a form also. And plus you also start realizing your own form, your spiritual form. Nitya Siddha, Purna Siddha, Nitya Mukta. Purna Siddha. This holy name is Purna Siddha. Purna Siddha means completely liberated, spiritualized, completely liberated. So it will make you liberated uh, and purna and, and, and completely shuddha. It is completely pure. So there's no, there is no impurity in the holy name. So people say, Oh Prabhuji, you know, uh, do we have to take bath and chant? No, you can chant anytime when we're not taking because name is, is totally pure. It will make you pure. Name doesn't become impure just because you are impure. The name will make you pure. So anyhow, you can chant the holy name. Jai Deko, you know, like Nam Nam Akari Bhuja Krishna says, you know, I've invested all my energies in the only name, and there are no hard and fast rules to chant. Anyone can chant, even a child can chant the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, 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 even a child can chant this mantra. You know, so then your bond with Krishna will become stronger and stronger, and then you will realize Krishna because there's no difference between Nam Nami, there's no difference between Nam and Nami, there's no difference between Krishna and his holy name. So as you chant, you chant with this purity when you reach at the stage of Nishtha and you know Ruchi Asakti, then you will, then the holy name, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Nam will become Rupa. The first thing you realize is Krishna's Nam will take Krishna's Rupa. Krishna's Rupa will take will, will uh, develop into Krishna's Leela qualities, you know, Krishna's guna, and then Krishna's quality Leela. And then you'll be able to you know, see Krishna Leela, like you know, you see a movie. Like that, you know, Krishna Leela will be played in front of you. you know, Krishna, all Krishna's Leela, from Bal Leela to his, you know, Dwarka Leela, Mathwa Leela, everything will be played in front of you. So that is how everything you will realize. You know, when you come on the stage of Bhava, you know, so this is the whole process Krishna is explaining to Arjun that, you know, don't get stuck up in just the subordinate Brahman or the Paramatma. Come and realize the Bhagwan aspect. Because in that Bhagwan aspect, you can, you know, do, you know, Seva, and redevelop your sleeping relationship with me, the relationship which you have forgotten with me. You can reignite it, redevelop that relationship. That's why Krishna, you know, in the, this is, thus the field of activity, the body, the knowledge, you know, how you use this body in my seva, like I told last time, you know, you can use all eyes in seeing Krishna, tongue in tasting prasadam, you know, ear in hearing about Krishna, tongue again in vibrating the holy name, you know, uh, nose in smelling the flower or the tulsi of Krishna, you know, hands in writing about Krishna or dancing in front of Krishna by raising your hands or chanting the japa, legs in dancing or, or you know, going to parikrama or going to dham, you know, like that you can realize, you know, and prashadam goes to the belly. So the stomach and all can, can you know, uh, taste the, maha, the beautiful maha prashad of Krishna. So like that, everything, the whole field of activity because our body is Krishna's. This body is not ours. Earth, water, fire are Krishna's elements. Hai. Atma is Krishna's part. Hai. Everything belongs to Krishna. So we have to use everything in Krishna's service. So this field, this body, 
you know, the, whatever activity we perform with this body should be Krishna conscious activities. Should be akarma, not vikarma or karma. Should be akarma, Krishna conscious activities. This is knowledge. This is how you, this is knowledge of, you know, to, that, that Krishna is giving that you have to perform Krishna conscious activity. And from that activity, whom to be known? Krishna is to be known. That, that those activities, Krishna conscious activities, Seva will reveal you, will reveal to you Krishna. Understood? Yeah, Krishna. So only my devotee can understand this thoroughly and thus attain my nature. And then Krishna said, only a devotee can understand this because rest, you know, karmis, jnanis, you know, uh, who are following, you know, different, different forms of yoga, they, they, they have a limit, you know, like the jnanis, they can just, they, they can just reach to the platform of Brahma Jyoti, Nirakar, you know, and the yogis, they can reach the Paramatma step, but the bhaktas, bhakti, you know, the devotees, they can reach the Bhagwan aspect. That's why in Srimad Bhagavatam it is said, Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagwan Eti Shabdate. Bhagwan is the, you know, once you, you, till you come, don't come to the Bhagwan aspect, you don't realize the absolute truth incomplete. Because Satchidananda is the nature of God. So in Brahman, only the Sat aspect you will realize, the eternal aspect. The Sat. In Paramatma, the Sat and the Chit aspect you will realize. Only when you realize the Bhagwan aspect of the Lord, the full Nirak, the full form of the Lord with all its entourage, you know, Krishna's Nam, Guna, Rup, Leela, everything, then you will realize the Satchidananda nature of, of Krishna and also you will be able to experience your Satchidananda nature. Otherwise, if you just be in Paramatma, sorry, in Brahman, then you will not, you will be able to let only your eternal expect, not, no Ananda, no knowledge, and you will lean and after many, 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 many millions of lifetime, you will again fall down because you can't stay eternally, you know, merge into the absolute truth. That also has an expiry date. That's why we call it, the Shastra call it spiritual suicide. You know, material suicide means you finish your body. Spiritual suicide means you finish your spiritual body also. You don't want a spiritual body, you just want to merge into the light, the Brahma Jyoti of the Lord. So that is called spiritual suicide. Because you can't do any activity without body. You can't serve Krishna. And that's why and the Shastra describe this low, you know, five kinds of liberation, this, you know, merging into the absolute truth is the lower grade. Because, and the lower grade in liberation, because from that you can also fall down. You will, you will fall down one day. After many, many lifetimes, you will fall down again into the material world, material pool. So that's why Shastra doesn't rate that as very high, very low kind of liberation. You know, so that's why we should not worry about merging into the one. Because you know, Krishna Seva is waiting. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma Na Sochati Na Kanchati. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Brahman realization is not the complete. When you come to Brahman, then your real bhakti start, real life starts. Prabhupada gives the example. And then you know, getting out of the jail is not the end. You know, your real life will start outside the jail. Na? You know, the, just, just, just getting out of the jail. What will you do? Nothing. If you have no work, you know, you'll again do something bad and come back to the jail, right? If you have no activity, positive activity, you know, suppose a criminal, you know, he gets parole or he gets, you know, uh, his, his, you know, time in the jail has ended. Now he's gone out of the jail, right? He has no work. Empty mind, devil's workshop. Again, he'll do some mistake and come back to the jail, right? But if he has some positive engagement, some nice engagement there, then he will not come back. He'll do. He'll keep looking, doing his work there. <laughs> Similarly, uh, Krishna says, "Brahma Bhuta Prasan Atmana Sochati." Yes, that is good. You've reached the Brahman stage, but in that stage, your bhakti will work should start. Don't end there. The Mayavadis, the Nirvishesivadis, the Shunyavadis, you know, they just want to lean and. But they don't understand that, you know, if you don't do any activity, because, because you can't do any activity in the Brahman, because you have no spiritual body, neither you have a material body. You can't do any activity. So then what? Then you again come back for want of active, for want of some activity. Because soul cannot remain inactive. Soul is full of activity. Such is Ananda. So soul, soul is, has to be active to experience such is Ananda nature. Without that, it cannot be stay. How long can you stay in a, in a room? Just, you know, if someone binds you with a, with a rope and keeps you in the room, how long can you stay there? You can't stay one day, two days, four days, five days, ten days. You will get frustrated and you want to leave that day. Similarly, the, when, we, when, we, when we merge into the Brahma Jyoti, you know, 
So we we don't experience anand there. So like the you know even like in in the room we will not experience any anand, no reciprocation. For want of anand, for want of reciprocation, we again fall back in the material world. And we say, "Arey material world is better than us. Actually, we are better than them. Here, there is no heaven. We are talking about right. So that's why Bhagavad Gita Krishna is saying, "Get bhakti, do seva. So once you do seva, then your bond will become much stronger. You know that bond is required. Okay. That is what is Krishna is saying. Knowledge only my devotee can attain that nature because only my devotee will want to wants to become my bhakta, sub sir, my my servant." Rest, everyone wants to become me, you know, like Tattva Masi. So, so why Krishna is saying, you know, not mm, telling us not to run after that, you know, Brahma Jyoti or Tattva Masi or I am I become Brahman. Why? Because that is our real disease. But I should understand why did we come here in the material world first of all? The reason why we came in the material world is because you know we made this first mistake that we wanted to enjoy like Krishna. We wanted to become God. You know, so Krishna says in the spiritual world you can't become God. You no, know, you go to the material world, you enjoy there. So now, even after getting perfection, everything, if we don't leave that desire to become God, we will not go back home, back to God, to Vaikuntha. That desire to become God is the is the most dangerous desire, which the Mayavadis have. You know, when because they say you know that everyone is God, you are God, I am God, everyone is God. You know, we are Tattvam, we are that. You know, so that is you know that is the Very dangerous desire to have, because that desire will not let you come to Goloka Vindavan, you know, and and it's an artificial desire, not a permanent real desire. You know, once you know, I I always tell this story. You know, once I was doing some book distribution in Jew Temple, you know, in in Mumbai, and so and I was on the book table. So this one big Sankara Charya Sanyasi came there, you know, and at the book stall. And he was looking at Prabhupada books, and so I told him Hare Krishna. So he said, "You know, Aham Brahmasmi." He said, "You know, Aham Brahmasmi." He said, "Okay, Hare Krishna." So yeah. So he told, "What are you distributing?" I said, uh, "Bhagavad Gita and you know Krishna's uh, Geet, Krishna's Geet." You know, he knew. He said, "You know, but you are Krishna, so you also have your own Geet." Krishna ka Geet to Krishna ne bola, but you are also Krishna. Now you realize that he told me this. So I told him, "Have you realized that you are Krishna?" Yes, you know we. I'm, you know, I'm Brahman. You know, I'm that. I've realized that I'm God. Very nice. <laughs> so that means, you know, uh, you are God and I'm also God. So we all are one. We all are same, right? Yes, yes. Everything is Brahman. You no, know, I, you, I, I am God. You are God. All these are God, God, God. Everybody and God only. You know, It's very nice, very nice philosophy, chalo. So he was wearing a Rolex watch. That. Sanyasi, you know, Sankar Acharya was wearing a Rolex watch. So I told, you know, can I look at this watch? Can I look? So he said, okay, okay, dekho, you know. So he opened his watch and gave it to me. So I wore the watch and I left that place. I moved out. So his chela, you know, his servants, you know, they started shouting, "Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Come, come here!" And I started moving very fast, like running. So they also started running after me, and they caught me. Said, "Oh, ruko, where are you going?" I said, "What happened? You know, oh, you have you have taken our, you know, you have robbed, you have robbed our. Are you a thief? You have robbed our watch." I said, "Which watch? This watch." I said, "But Abhi, so you have said everyone is same. I am also Brahman. He is also Brahman. He wears, I wear. One thing is the same. He wears and I wear. One thing is the same. Because he is also Brahman. I am also Brahman. So if your Guru Maharaj is wearing, even I can wear. Same thing. It is. One Brahm, Brahman is wearing. Brahm is wearing." So he became very angry. अरे ऐसा थोड़ना होता है, you know. So I said, then why are you preaching this? You know, there is no practical implementation of this. You can theoretically preach this, so oh, everyone is God. But when you really practically implement it, you can't because if you are Brahman, you are alive. Now, socially, the concept means you don't need food, you don't need air, nothing. Because Brahm means spiritual. So on the spiritual plan, platform, how why you need oxygen to breathe? Why you need, you know, soul doesn't need oxygen to breathe. So you can survive anywhere without oxygen, without food, without sleep, without you know AC, without you know. But that they need food, they need AC, they need you know oxygen to breathe. They need to go to nature's call, right? सुबह सुबह अगर नहीं गए पेट में गुड़गुड़ा होने लग गया तो फटा भागेंगे वो लोग, right? So this is very artificial way of you know we say oh, I become God. No, we no one can become God. 
God is God and we are always servant of God. So we have to understand. That's why Krishna is saying, don't run after this Brahman realization. This is a, not the complete, you know. So you try to uh, re revive your relationship with Krishna. You are born with Krishna, that bond. Only that bond, that it is because of that bond, that when Prahlad Maharaj told that my God is even in the pillar, Krishna came from the pillar, right? That bond. Hinakashipu meditated, I have become God for 10,000 years, but at the end, he met, you know, what fate he met? He met, he met the fate that he was torn into pieces, his intestine removed, and Rashid Dev wore his intestine. So this is what happened to the so-called God who think, who think that they are God. You know, that there was this Pundrika Vasudeva. You know, he, he also claimed that I am Narayan. You know, so Krishna, you know, cut his hand, you know, everything. You know, and Krishna told him that who is the real Narayan. So we can artificially claim that we have become God, you know, like, like Vishwamitra. You know, Vishwamitra also claimed that he is God. And he, did, and he could remove planets from his hands. But what happened, you know, in the end, you know, he was defeated by Vishnu and shown his place. So like that, you know, Ravana, what did Ravana do? Ravana thought, I've become Vishnu, I've become God. And in that, he did this madness of, you know, uh, kidnapping Mother Sita. What happened? Lord Ram killed him. His knowledge, nothing could save him. So, this is, so the point is, a devotee is always protected by Krishna, by Ram. But a person who is in this ego, false ego, that I am God or I have become God, I can become God, you know, he's always defeated by Krishna. Always defeated. And that's why we as devotees should never let this, you know, desire to come in our mind that we want to become God or we want to merge into the God. We want to merge into God. Because that is a lower rate of desire. And that will destroy our spiritual life. You know, we will not attain anything. And that is the cause because of which we are here. Because we revolted against Krishna because you wanted to become Krishna. And Krishna told you, you can't become like me in the spiritual world. You have this material world, you go. What you do want to do, what you want to do, go and do there. You know? So this is this disease, this desire of becoming God is the, the, the is the most dangerous desire. And it, and it will keep us in the material world for time immemorial infinity. So we should give up and try to develop bond with Krishna. So how to develop that bond with Krishna? You know, that we will see today. So there are five kinds of devotional practices, you know, which, which will help you to develop that bond with Krishna. Five kinds of, you know, spiritual practice. What are those five kinds of spiritual practice? You know, they are uh, called, you know, technically, there are many technical terms of that, you know, I'll explain. So those filled with the desired feeling, that bhakti which is filled with the desired feeling. Second, that related to the, des that related to the desired feeling. Third, those favorable to the desired feelings. Fourth, those not opposed to the desired feeling. Fifth, those opposed to the desired feeling. So we have to follow these five things we follow. We can develop that bond with Krishna. So the first is the direct cause of attaining, you know, prema. You know, the both, the first one, which I told, those filled with the desired feeling, that is the practice and the goal. So if you practice that, you know, and when your practice becomes perfect, you will realize you will get Krishna. Because Krishna is your desired feeling. So, when you are filled with that desired feeling to get Krishna, then you practice that. And what to practice, and then I'll explain to you. You know, this is, I'm first telling you the main points. You can, everyone can write down these points. So, those filled with desired feelings. So, on, on that, both the practice and the goal. The only difference between them is that the practice is the unripened stage and the goal is the ripened stage. Like I, like I always say, you know, what is your sadhana becomes your sadhya, right? So, you, whatever sadhana you do right now, whatever practice you do, that becomes your goal. That you realize. So, if you are doing practice in dasya, you will become a dasya. You will get dasya bhav. If you are doing practice in santaras, you will get santaras. If you do practice in vatsaras, you will get vatsaras. If you do practice in madhuras, you will get madhuras. If you practice in sakhyaras, you will get sakhyaras. So, whatever practice you do, that becomes your goal, right? So, this is those filled with the desired feeling. Oh, this is my feeling. This is my sthai bhav. You know, that you have to understand. Oh, I love, I want this bhav. That you have to. Then you will be able to understand Krishna. First this. Then those related to the desire, related to desired feeling. So that is direct cause of attaining goal. Some of the direct causes of attaining prema. What are those? We'll see. What are direct causes? What are indirect causes? Okay. 
like Shavan Kirtan Smarat, they are the direct causes. When you do that, then you can attain Prema. The third is those favorable to the desired hmm, feeling. So, what are favorable things to the desired? So, they are the, 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 they are called the indirect causes. You know, those favorable are called the indirect, like Ekadashi, Janmashtami, fast, everything. Those are the indirect way, indirect way to develop Prema or to develop, to, to reach to Krishna. The fourth is those not opposed to the desired feeling. Those not opposed to the desired feeling. So, that is, you know, some. Uh, some are helpful and some are harmful in that, you know. Some are helpful and some are harmful. So, those not opposed to the desired feeling, so those are harmful. And those opposed to the desired feeling, so those are neutral. So, these things we'll see. So, the first is Vaishnav Seva. That is the most important. If you, you know, this is, the, this is called the, the topmost rule to get Krishna, Vaishnav Seva. That's what Krishna says in, you know, Adi Puran and, you know, everywhere Krishna says, the one who is my direct devotee is not my devotee. One who is a devotee of my devotee is my devotee. So, if you want to get Krishna, then you have to go through Krishna to a Vaishnava, Sadhu Sangha. You know, so, Vaishnav Seva belongs to, you know, all the categories. Vaishnav Seva is also uh, the, you know, practice and the goal because what you, you serve Vaishnava here, you'll serve the Vaishnava in Golok Vrindavan also. And he is your, he'll be your head, you know, in Goloka Vrindavan. So that is also the, you know, what do you say? The practice and the goal. Vaishnava Seva is also, you know, indirect, uh, co direct cause to get Prema, indirect cause also to get Prema, you know, uh, it will not, it will be helpful, it will be helpful to you. It will always keep you away from harmful, harmful reactions, you know, like uh, making a fence around your bhakti lata bhi, so it will keep all the anathas or the mad elephant out. So like that, you know, it will keep the harmful elements out and it will uh, keep you balanced, neutral, not to, you know, become attached to any vikari, vikars of this material world. So Vaishnav Seva is the most important. This is why we have, you know, in, uh, it is put on the top. In other words, the service of Vaishnava is filled with desired feeling, related to the desired feeling, favorable to the desired feeling, not opposed to the desired feeling, all in one. Can there be any doubt that the sadhaka who aspires for pure devotional service should see it as his sole duty to serve the topmost Vaishnava, that is Srila Prabhupada, without whose association and grace there is no way to attain devotion to Sri Hari. So we have to understand this, that Prabhupada is that Nitya Siddha devotee, that Sakta Vesha Avatar, and that Bhakti, the you know, expansion of Bhakti Devi, you know, the expansion of Nitan Prabhu and Srimati Radhani's mercy in the, in the Kali Yuga. He is, he is the Sampada Acharya, you call him, you call him the main Acharya, you call him for the next 10,000 years. He, he has the keys to Goloka. Unless and until you accept Srila Prabhupada and serve Srila Prabhupada, you will not reach Goloka. Kuch bhi kar lo ab. Krishna has given the, the chabi of Goloka to Srila Prabhupada. It's in, his, in the hand of Srila Prabhupada. So we have to only serve Prabhupada as he is telling us, whatever he has told us, you know, get up early in the morning, chant 16 rounds, follow the four active principles, everything you do, you make Prabhupada happy, you make Prabhupada satisfied with your seva, and then Prabhupada will open the door of Goloka for you. And so, this is the most important thing. So, you know, for the sadhakas who are on the path of devotion, the Vaishnavas are as worshipable or the Guru Varshila Prabhupada is as worshipable as Vishnu. Sakshat Hari Tena Samastha you know? So we sing this in the morning. You know? Prabhupada is non-different from Krishna himself because he is the Krishna Kripa Murti in the material world. Prabhupada is that Krishna Kripa Murti for the next 10,000 years in this material world. That will take us. So he is as worshipable. That's why we have this Guru Puja every day of Prabhupada. You know? <clears throat> See, Guru Charana Padma. We sing every day, you know. So why? Because, you know, without worshipping Guru, you know, Krishna Bhakti Lata Beach will not get. Guru Krishna Pasapai Bhakti Lata Beach. So without Guru Seva, no Krishna Seva. Guru Seva, Krishna Seva will get. You know, only after you do Guru Seva, Vaishnav Seva, you'll get Krishna Seva. You'll get Krishna Bhakti. For the sadhaka who is on the path of devotion, the Vaishnavas are the are as worshipful as Vishnu himself, Vaishnava, Vishnuvat, Pujya. 
if the sadhaka does not develop the quality of respect and for the Vaishnavas and follow the Vaishnava to the T, the Lord will never be pleased with him. That's why it said, Oh Partha, those who are devoted to me are not my devotees. While I consider those who are devotees of my devotee to be my topmost devotee. And also it Itihasa Samachaya, it is said. You know, Itihasa Samuchaya, it is said. Therefore, in order to please Krishna or Vishnu, please the Vaishnava in all respect. Your Siksha Guru, your Diksha Guru, Shila Prabhupada, you have to please them, all respect. When the Vaishnava are pleased, Krishna or Vishnu is pleased, will be pleased. For this, there is no doubt at all. So without Vaishnava Kripa, Guru Kripa, no, Guru Kripa, Pai Bhakti Lata Bij, Guru Krishna Kripa, Pai Bhakti Lata Bij, Guru Krishna Kripa. So first is Guru Kripa we need. Okay, then Krishna Kripa. No, said Krishna Kripa and Guru Kripa. No, Guru Kripa and then Krishna Kripa. So first Guru Kripa. Then only we will be able to get Krishna Kripa. So Vaishnava Sipa is the most important. Then those filled with desired feelings means the practice and the goal. What is the practice? You know, after <clears throat> no, servant, uh, the practice is servanthood. You know, Dasya Bhav. Sakya Bhav. You know, or Madhuri Bhav or Vatsali Bhav. And living in the Vraj are some of the items of bhajan that will be that will full that that are full of desired feelings. These are the you know desire to live in Vrindavan, desire to you know serve Vaishnava, desire to you know develop a friendship with Krishna, desire to develop a service, service attitude towards Krishna. Shavan Kitasman Pasyam Achaman Dasyam Atma Nivedanam. Achanam Bandanam Dasyam Sakyam. Sakyam Dasam Atma Nivedanam. So friend and servant of Krishna. You know, you have to be. So that is, you know, that is, that should be a cherished desire. That should be the practice that we, we try to become Krishna's servant or Krishna's friend. And then we will get that goal also. We will, we will be able to achieve that goal. It is also, you know, uh, and where Rupa Goswami describes in Nectar of Instruction, you know, he says that, you know, always try to serve Krishna in the groves of Vrindavan. You know, that should be your goal. So Vraja, you know, always try to uh, serve Krishna in the in Vrindavan with the with the, with a stai bhav, with a permanent mellow which you which you like or which you cherish or which is your desire. You know, maybe in Dasya bhav, maybe in Sakya bhav, maybe in Vatsala bhav, maybe in Madhuri bhav. Whichever is a cherished desire. In that, if you serve Krishna with that consciousness, Jambam Mapi Smaranam. So whatever you think, whatever you practice, you will get that goal perfection. Right, so you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare. Like I told, Nam Chintamani Chitana Sadhguru, Nam Chintamani, Nam will reveal you whatever you have desired will give you your cherished desire. So you chant with this Bhurine, with the desire. Oh, I want to become a servant of Krishna. Oh, I want to become a friend of Krishna. Oh, I want to become a parent of Krishna. Oh, I want to become a paramour or lover of Krishna or a husband or a wife of Krishna or a you know, lover of Krishna or a Manjari maid servant of Krishna. Whatever is your cherished desire, you practice that. You know, you follow, you you take uh, a particular sadhaka or a particular perfect and nitya siddha devotee of that bhava. Like, you know, in dasya bhav, you can take, you know, devotees who are in dasya bhav, you know, uh, Krishna's personal servants, you know, and, and try to understand them, how they are serving Krishna. And as you're practicing your sadhana, you know, in the, that way, you, you know, you, you try to pray to them, you know, uh, and beg them to give to give you mercy and to also give you gyan. So how to serve Krishna in that bhava. Uh, in Sakya bhava, you can take Balram or you can take Sridam, you can take Subal, you can take Ujwala, you can take Madhu Mangal, anyone and, and serve Krishna and first learn how are they serving Krishna perfectly and then get a try to develop a desire, loba, greed in your heart. Oh, even I want to serve that way. And when that greed develops, so you have to, you'll practice that like Rupa Goswami says in external instruction, you know, you follow that footsteps externally as Rupa Goswami, internally as Rupa Manjari. So externally you follow, you know, you do all your sadhana, chanting Hare Krishna, Sola Mala, you know, attending all the programs, following all the four agreed principles and inner, inner Antaranga, you start serving how Balram is serving Krishna, how Subal is serving Krishna, how Sridham is serving Krishna, like that you do. Same in Vatsali Ras, you know, internal and external. Same in Madhuri Ras, internal and external. So you have to, and where? In the groves of Vrindavan. You know, in Vrindavan, either in Sakya Bhav, in Vasila, anything in Vrindavan you are serving. So this is what is 
the you know this is how your desired feeling will become more and more your bond with krishna will become more and more stronger because whatever you think sadhana you get that yam vam apis manam krishna says whatever you think you'll get that at that end at the time of death you know you attain will attain that and this is the practice and then what is the second uh, those related to the desired feeling direct cause so what are the direct causes of it shravanam importance of shravanam hearing bhagavad katha bhagavad gita katha you know you develop attraction for krishna through four means you know in which two are very important two belongs to two means belongs to hearing shravanam that is shastra hearing shastra or you know the the you know the philosophy of krishna consciousness and second katha the the the, the past times of krishna krishna so these two things the more and more you hear like we have bhagavad gita classes right so bhagavad gita uh, we are you know hearing philosophy on an ekadashi we have krishna katha class right so we hear past times of krishna what he performed in vrindavan so both so that is the most that is the direct cause of developing that that will help you develop the bond with krishna that will develop you that, that, that develop your bond with krishna more and more stronger right importance of hearing shravanam so you hear and obviously when you chant you hear you know don't chant in your mind because your soul is sleeping in the which in the lap of which called maya only to wake that soul is by make some noise you know if you are sleeping and if your mother comes and you know just put a chit dik degi oh tommy get up or tom get up or rahul get up or you know uh, nikhil get up or gorav get up खाली चिट पे लिख के चली जाएगी मारक के क्या वो लड़का उठेगा नहीं उठ पाएगा ना ही विल कीप स्लीपिंग शी हैज टू मेक सम नॉइज शी हैज टू शेक द चाइल्ड देन ही विल गेट अप सिमिलरली वी हैव टू हियर आवर होली नेम व्हाट वी चैंट हियर इट नॉट चैंट इन द माइंड यू नो अपने मन में मत करो बिकॉज़ उससे इफेक्ट बहुत स्लो होगा सो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ऑडिबल होना चाहिए कि आप अपने आप को सुनो सो द डिवोशनल प्रैक्टिस दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायरेक्ट कॉज श्रवण इज पुट इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ डायरेक्ट कॉज टू गेट कृष्ण प्रेम टू डेवलप कृष्ण प्रेम टू डेवलप दैट बॉन्ड विथ कृष्ण टू रिवाइव आर स्पिरिचुअल स्वरूप टू रिवाइव आर स्पिरिचुअल कॉन्शियसनेस टू रियलाइज हु वी आर the spiritual or uh, how what is our form what is our what is our spiritual form what is our spiritual form everything you know you do when you follow this first principle direct cause shravanam the devotional practice such as hearing and so of the name nama form rupa the quality is guna and past times uh, leela of krishna so these are the suitable one suitable so these that are suitable to one's feelings are called direct causes for attainment of the goal so aapki feeling ke anusar yadi aapki feeling cherished feeling hai das se bhav mein to aap us leela ke bare mein suno aap us krishna ke you know naam jo das se bhav mein hai na wo naam jap matlab us kaun se naam japo aap ye wo krishna you are my master so when you chant hare krishna maha mantra oh krishna you are my master please you know you i am your das वो कॉन्शियस चैंटिंग करो इफ यू इन दास से भाव इफ यू डेवलप दैट कॉन्शियसनेस इफ यू वांट टू हैव अ स्थाई भाव और योर स्वरूप इन दास से रसा देन चैंट विद दैट कॉन्शियसनेस इफ यू वांट टू हैव अ योर कॉन्शियसनेस इन साख्य रसा देन यू चैंट विद द विद द मूड ओ यू नो कृष्ण बलराम यू नो एंड यू नो ओ कृष्ण बलराम आई वांट टू बी योर फ्रेंड यू नो आई वांट टू जॉइन योर सर्कल आई वांट टू जॉइन योर प्रिय नरमा सर भक्त सखा सर्कल योर इंटरमेट फ्रेंड सर्कल डॉक्मोस फ्रेंड सर्कल यू नो प्लीज प्लीज ब्लेस मी यू नो एंड देन यू नो एंड उसी 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 यू नो मूड के नाम गुण रूप लीलाओं को सुनो नाम मतलब वेन यू चैंड हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे रे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे रे राम विल बिकम बल राम 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 विल मीन हियर बल राम इफ यू एन साख्य भाव सो उस कॉन्शियसनेस से आप चैंटिंग करो एंड कृष्ण बलराम की लीला है कृष्ण भगवान बलराम के क्वालिटीज कृष्ण बलराम के पास टाइम्स यू नो और जहां पे गोकुल में कृष्ण बलराम रहते हैं वहां वो वो टाइप के पास टाइम्स नो उसको आप स्मरण करो इन दास इन साख्य सेमली इन इन बात्सल्य पेरेंटल 
तो मदर यशोदा की क्या फीलिंग्स है कृष्णा के प्रति यू नो हाउ शी टेक्स केयर ऑफ कृष्णा उस टाइप की फीलिंग आप में डेवलप होगी उस टाइप के पास्ट टाइम आप सुनो नो कृष्णा एंड मदर यशोदा के कृष्णा एंड नंद बाबा के कैसे मदर यशोदा यू नो कृष्ण दही क्या दूध को ये करती है खीर बनाने के लिए या दही बनाने के लिए और कृष्णा भागते हैं कृष्णा माखन चोरी करते हैं कैसे मदर यशोदा कृष्णा के पीछे डंडा लेके भागती है तो ऑल दोज काइंड ऑफ पास्ट टाइम कैसे मदर यशोदा कृष्णा का मुंह खोला तो पूरा ब्रह्मांड दिख गया सो दोज काइंड ऑफ पास्ट टाइम आर मेड फॉर यू इफ यू आर इन बात से लेके सो दैट विल हेल्प यू डेवेलप योर चेरिश डिजायर डिजायर and and your chanting with in that mood will become the direct cause to realize that swarup that stai bhav become direct cause you know for that and if you are in madhurya bhav then you uh, see you hear the past times of you know krishna and the gopis or manjuri seva and all those past time you hear more at krishna's naam then then in then in the holy name when you chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare ram will become raman raman you know so in madhurya bhav ram will become raman so we will chant in that consciousness is more to radha raman you know jo aapke man ko ram liye ho raman you know krishna so that will become you know so, and so usi prakar ke naam guna rupa leela you try to get more and more and more try to hear more and more then you develop that kind of you know cherished desire <clears throat> the practitioners of you know who are who wants to develop a maid servant manjri bhav swarup you know like rupa goswami is telling so the practitioner of manjri bhav who take shelter of the madhur rasha should know that the holy name of krishna the beloved of shrimati radharani his form of of uh, his form of the king of you know the past times in vindavan his qualities like his being subdued by you know all the gopis and all you know us type ke past times you know headed by lalita and and all those you know and all the other sakhis so you hear you start hearing those past times so you know vishaya jagat you know in shrimad bhagavatam shripad kavi yogendra tells this to maharaj nimi you know the sadaka should wander around without any company so this is how practice you know you if you you know you this is this serious krishna consciousness You know, people who are not so serious, you know, you know, उनके लिए नहीं है. This is for those people who are very serious. The sadhaka should wander around without any company, giving up all shame while singing the holy name. You know, अभी आपको डर लगता है, you know, कैसे हरि नाम संकीर्तन में चले जाएं अकेले. You know, जाओ, you know, because you are ultimately you have to purify your own consciousness and get and get Krishna's mercy. You know. so giving up all shame while singing the holy name and and glories of the auspicious birth and activities of shri krishna that are celebrated in the scriptures and in the traditional succession as well as in the purports so this is how you should be should not be very shy you know of chanting krishna's holy name you know hearing about krishna you know ghar se chup chup ke nahi you know you can you know uh, don't be and don't be afraid No, perform bhakti very courageously so then you will be able to realize such you know uh, cherish form uh, such desire to have krishna as your sakha or as your uh, son or as your you know in madhurya bhav whatever you know it is there then the second is uh, the first was you know <clears throat> hearing shravanam right the second is japa kirtanam hearing and kirtan chanting that is a direct cause first was shravan then is kirtan one should always daily practice japa with a fixed mind okay you know fixed number of rounds fixed mind that this is my uh, mood and this is my seva and this is my stai bhav and this is my cherished desire cherished mood in that mood you have to perform daily fixed mood change nahi jab hi aapka wo bond us cheez mein उस ताई भाव में डेवलप होगा अंडरस्टैंड सो फ्रॉम द स्क्रिप्टल रेफरेंस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज एन इटर्नल ड्यूटी जाप्य स्वभिष्ट सरसंगी श्रीना नाम महामुहि ऑलवेज डू जपा ऑफ द महामंत्र ऑफ द बिलवेड कृष्णा एंड इज एसोसिएट्स होली नेम इन दिस स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम श्री राधा कृष्णा गंडोष दीपिका इट इज रिटर्न दैट श्री राधा एज उपास्य वर्शिपी 
Therefore, when we see that the sadhakas are practicing japa of the holy name of those in the footsteps, they are following in their uh, you know sthai bhav. Then certainly this mantra japa is related to the desired feeling of that cause, and for this there is no doubt. Means this japa will you know when you chant that with that mood that okay I need this sarup, no nam chinta man chitta na sadigra. I need this sarup. In that, that is knowledge of that. This is what Krishna is saying. This is how you attain that nature, the nature of you know your your stai bhav, your cherished desire. You will attain. Because japa also should be in that fixed mood. Not ऐसे नहीं कि एक दिन मैं कृष्णा को कुरुक्षेत्र में सोच के चांट कर रहा हूँ, एक दिन कृष्णा को मैं द्वारका में सोच के चांट कर रहा हूँ, एक दिन कृष्णा को मैं मथुरा में सोच के और एक दिन कृष्णा को मैं साक्ष्य भाव में, एक दिन कृष्णा को मैं माधुर्य भाव में. No, एक fixed japa. It should be fixed japa. Oh, this is my cherished desire, and I will, you know, forever continue to chant in this bhav. So that is how you do. Then you will develop that strong bond with Krishna. <clears throat> to a certain who is eligible for, you know, understanding that okay, you know, I can perform with this fixed mind. It is said, a devotee who becomes greedy for the exclusive service of Sri Krishna, you know, uh. Which, uh, which you know, which any particular devotee is performing, you know, in any of these four, four, five bhavas, you know. So if you have that greed, that loba, that lollium in you, that means you are you are ready to perform this. You know, that means you are ready. So you know how to develop that greed. That greed, I told, is developed by five ways: by you know hearing about Krishna, by Krishna katha. By hearing about philosophy, you develop that greed. By taking darshan of the deities, you develop that greed. By guru kripa, you develop that greed. And you know, like that, you develop that greed. You know, uh, you know when you see the beautiful form of the Lord. You know, maybe Krishna Balram. You know, many people see Krishna Balram in Vrindavan, and they want to. They they look so beautiful. You know, you're stunned seeing their beauty, and then you want to serve Krishna and sakya bhav only. You know, many people, you know, I've seen that. You know, just because seeing Krishna Balram. They develop sakya bhav towards Krishna. Many I have seen who seeing you know Radha Sham Sundar. They develop you know sakhi bhav or manjri bhav towards Radha Rani towards Krishna. So taking darshan of the deities, you know, or Mahaprasad, you know, having or by Guru Kripa, or by philosophy, you know, hearing Krishna katha and you know hearing philosophy. So all these things, you know, you you it will help you develop that greed. That strong greed. Oh, I want to, you know, worship Krishna in such a such way. So that way, that means, you know, in so in that your 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 chanting should be with that greed. Your chanting, oh Krishna, you know, this is how you you employ greed in Krishna's service. Greed, material greed is very bad. Material greed will make you entangled in the material world. But spiritual greed, you know, will liberate you. When spiritual greed means, I want to become greedy for Krishna. I want to be greedy for Krishna Prem. I want to be greedy for Krishna's, you know, seva. I want to be greedy. Greedy, raho. You know, even so many, all of you are there, you know, in our volunteer group. So you should be always greedy. That oh, Prabhu ji, give me more seva, more seva, more seva. Seva kabi end nahi hota hai. Prabhu ji, I have done my seva. Never tell. Never use these words. Prabhu ji, I have done my seva. Always use the word Prabhu ji. What more seva? What next seva? Greedy. Ye apna mood develop karo. हर चीज के लिए तो एक्सटर्नली आपका ऐसा चलेगा और इंटरनली आपका मूड यू नो सर्विंग इन वॉट एवर स्टाइप ऑफ वॉट एवर यूर भाव यू हैव यू नो इन दैट यू विल सर्व कृष्ण सो दिस हाउ यू दैट विल बी योर जपा विल बी इन दैट कॉन्शियसनेस इन दैट यू नो थिंकिंग थिंकिंग प्रोसेस सो लाइक दैट योर माइंड विल ऑल्सो नॉट गो यर एन देर यू नो योर माइंड विल बी ऑक्यूपाइड विद दैट फीलिंग विद दैट लॉलियम विद दैट ग्रीड And with that, you know, consciousness that okay, I am serving Krishna in such and such bhav, you know, in sakhe bhav, in dasse matra bhav, whatever you know. So you'll be very attentive to the process. You know, absorption. Then the absorption will come. First, attraction, attention, absorption. You know, like that it comes, right? Atten. You know, you are you are attracted to Krishna. Then you become attentive. Uh, then you become absorbed in the holy name, right? Then the absorption will come, and then your mind will not go here and there. Right now, our mind is going here and there because we are not absorbed in the holy name. Because we are not attentive to the holy name, and how will we be attentive when we when we'll uh, follow all these minute details? 
all minute details, very, very how, what should be the mood, you know, what should we think of Krishna at the time of Japa, you know, what should be our cherished desired, you know, which, which you know, uh, mood which should, which should, in which we should chant, what, uh, what, with what humility, with what consciousness we chant. So all these things, you know, will help you develop that greed to chant in that particular style bhav and and that will be the direct cause of developing that bond which we are talking with Krishna. Right? <clears throat> so thus, then the, the indirect cause, the third, you know, is importance of, you know, the vrata, like the ekadashi vrata, you know, or the, you know, the third, the favorable, that is, those are favorable to the desired feelings. What are favorable? Ekadashi. So there they become the indirect cause to develop your bond. You know, because why? Because Ekadashi, whole day then you can remember Krishna. Well, why Ekadashi meant? Why do we do Ekadashi? Why do we do Janmashtri fast? Uh, no, not that, you know, uh, the, the real meaning is that, you know, whole day we have for chanting the holy name. You know, because normal days we are working, we are doing so many different, different things. But on Ekadashi, you know, we have, we don't have to cook, don't have to eat anything if you're doing Nirjala. So your, your, you know, eating time, your cooking time, your all these times, you know, it's not wasted. You know, that time and you can spend that time in chanting more rounds, you know, in remembering about Krishna more, you know, discussing about Krishna more, Ishta Goshti, you know, Sadhu Sangha, Raman Ticha, you know, Tushan Chita Raman Ticha, thinking of Krishna and talking about Krishna. So all these things, you know, you will do, you know, you do. So Ekadashi and Janmashtami, you know, both of them, you know, they become in the indirect cause of developing Krishna Prem. Like, you know, even like, you know, observing Kartik Vrata, you know, Kartik Vrata, you know, when Kartik is going to come or Janmashtami Vrata or like different, different Vratas or now, now it is coming Chaturmasya, Chaturmasya Vrata and all. So all these Vratas, when you follow, so your purification happens more and more faster. And when you and and your body, the senses, Vacha Vegam, Manasa Kodha Vegam, Jiva Vegam, Udhar Pasta Vegam, you know, your senses are controlled, your tongue is controlled, your you know, when you follow all the vows and everything, because your body is no more passionate, you know, you are controlling your body, so you're you're in mode of goodness. And when and when you chant, you you go to the stage of pure goodness. So all these things act as a stimulus or indirect cause for developing that bond with Krishna. Right? And then wearing Tulsi Mala and Tilaka, you know, they also, you know, serving Tulsi Devi, you know, all these things, you know, will help you, you know, like, you know, not only you, if you wear Tulsi Mala, not only you will feel, you know, like uh, it is said, you know, uh, if what you wear, you, you start feeling like that person. So you will not do anything bad also. And, you know, you suppose you have Tilak and, and, and Tulsi Mala. And, you know, if you don't wear, you know, then, you know, if you look at some girl or, you know, if you look at some anengalek or non you know, whatever you look, you know, no one will bother. But suppose you have Tilaka and you have Kanti Mala and then you do all these things, you know, then you will be also embarrassed. You will be, you will feel, oh, people are looking at me. You know, what will, what will, what will they think? The devotees, kaise hote hain? So that will make you also conscious. So indirectly, that will help you in your Krishna consciousness. That's why it's called the indirect cause. You know, favorable. And those that, that, that will help you to develop your favorable desired feelings towards Krishna. Like wearing Tulsi, serving Tulsi Maharani, you know, following Ekadashi Vrata and all those things. And so these are the indirect causes. Then those not opposed to the desired feeling, those things that are not opposed, or that means, or, you know, they can help you like worshipping the cow, you know, uh, or, you know, and serving the brahmanas, you know, like that. So all these things, the worship of cow fulfills all the desires of Sri Gopal's worshippers. So in, in Gautama Tantra, you know, Tantra it is said, always care, uh, always cares the cow, feed them grass, succumbulate them, for when the cows are pleased, Sri Gopal is pleased. So these are the things, you know, that should be done. It is not opposed to. It will not. It 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 it, it, it gonna help you to. You know. It will it will help your desired cherished bhav. Or they are not opposed to the any any or all the 
four bhavas can people can do no of sakhya bhav daitya bhav vatsalya bhav madhurya bhav all of four of you can do these things no so serving cow serving tulsi serving uh, the trees you know like you know dhatri tree or ashwatha tree like that you know if you serve them all these tree you know brahmanas and the vaishnavas serving the vaishnavas you know all these things you know with which will help you to go even more for closer to your cherished desires then those opposed to the desire feeling what are opposed to desire feeling and those opposed to the desire feeling you know nyas mudra agop agropasana like all these you know you perform all the ashtang yoga or hatha yoga or karma yoga or you know all these yoga they are they, they will not they you know they will take you away you know if you perform this hatha yoga then it will give you some siddhis that siddhis will take you away from krishna if you perform you know this gyan yoga you know then it will make you gyani and then by gyani you want to merge into the existence of krishna so it will take you away from krishna you know it will take you it will you will merge into the impersonal brahman then you will no longer you know be able to serve krishna it will take away so these are opposed to krishna you know and then karma how karma yoga because in karma yoga then you will want to do karma arth dharma arth kama moksha and you enjoy karma you know you get some you know artha to form karma yoga and with the artha you do some kama and you get caught up in that kama and you not go you not like love not like to go to moksha you know if you are not properly trained so those things will be those things are you know opposed to the desire and and if you go one step further more meditating on krishna's past time even in dwarka if you are if your mood is of vrindavan you know or if your mood is of dwarka of the of the become to becoming a wife of krishna then you should not meditate on and vrindavan past times jahan pe aapka jo sthai bhav aapka jo mood develop ho raha hai ya kurukshetra mein yadi krishna ka virat roop mein develop ho raha hai to aap wo leke chalo aage krishna ka yadi dwarka roop mein develop ho raha hai to aap wo leke ras abhas mat karo ye rasa se wo rasa mat bhago you know yahan ka bhi wahan ka bhi na usse aapka desired cherished goal hai wo achieve achieve nahi hoga aapke paas mein wo krishna bolte hain yam yam aap isme jo jo aap bol sochte ho aapko milega to yadi aap जम करते रहोगे तो आपको खिचड़ी मिलेगी कुछ नहीं मिलेगा फिर नो यू हैव टू जब माम एकम शरणम एकम कृष्णा नो एक एक को पकड़ लो कौन चाहिए आपको आपको रुक्मणी कृष्णा चाहिए आपको नो लक्ष्मी नारायण चाहिए आपको सीताराम चाहिए आपको नो राधा कृष्णा चाहिए एक को पकड़ लो या कृष्ण बलराम चाहिए नो डोंट डू नो विंडो शॉपिंग एवरीवेयर बी माम एकम शरणम रज because uh, because that is opposed to your desired feeling understood and mudras and all those thing you know people do mudras you know like i have seen you know uh, in some temples you know they perform all these mudras and everything so those things are you know aishwarya by you know it is good but you know in in to develop krishna's spontaneous loving service to krishna all these thing becomes hindrance <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is how you know you will be able to develop that bond which i was talking about with krishna and and this is knowledge this is what krishna is telling you arjun explain to arjun that you know use your field body perfectly proper mood proper develop type of proper you know kaun se aapka aapka mood kis mein kaun se usi prakar ka roop no naam roop लीला उसी प्रकार का सुनो एंड देन फॉलो दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सनैलिटी इन दैट भाव एंड प्रे टू दैट पर्सनैलिटी ओके यू ऑल्सो मे बी एबल टू डेवलप समे दैट भाव एंड यू नो सर्व सो सर्वे एक्सटर्नल सर्वे शुड नॉट स्टॉप नॉट दैट यू यू डेवलप दिस यू नो चेरिश डिजायर इंटरनली एंड एक्सटर्नली यू सच सिटिंग लाइक अ बाबा नो externally everything should should be more vigor should be because agar internally aapka itna purify itna greed develop ho gaya aapke andar to it should manifest externally so externally you will be able to do more seva externally you will be able to chant more round externally you will be able to develop more you know uh, more love for preaching getting up early in the morning you know uh, do more prachar you know big big prachar you will be able to do you know, so you know external सेवा साधना एंड साधु संग शुड नेवर स्टॉप प्लस वी हैव टू ऐड दिस इंटरनल चेरिश्ड गोल्स इन आवर लाइफ एंड दिस इज हाउ यू नो आर बॉन्ड आर 
asakti to Krishna will become stronger and we'll be able to develop that bond, that link, maya sakta mana partha, yoga jindan madashraya. We want to develop that, that bond with Krishna. And once we have developed that bond with Krishna, then we will develop emotions for Krishna. And once we develop emotions for Krishna, you no know, feelings for Krishna, then with that, with the stai bhav plus feelings, bhava, you know, emotions, your, 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 your you know, what, what you want to achieve, that stai bhav, that, 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 that nature, sakya, radhasya, whatever, plus emotions is equal to, you know, seva. You know, seva uh, in, you know, uh, in uh, intimacy, seva in spontaneous love. You know, spontaneous love. So that will, that will, that will give rise to prema, love of Godhead. So when you perform uh, stai bhav, when you have the stai bhav and you add bhava, emotions, which will develop automatically, will develop, you know, if you're on the stage of nishta, asakti, ruchi, the emotion will automatically develop in you. Gradually, as you chant more and more, then prema, love of God. And as you develop prema for Krishna, then, you know, when you leave your body, you will go back home, back to God and start serving whatever you practice here. In that way, you start serving. If you practice here in Dasya Bhav, you will get a Swarup there of Dasya Bhav. That is called Vastu Siddhi or Swarup Siddhi. You know, uh, Vastu Siddhi is like, you know, you may be sent to Krishna having pastime on the on this uh, material world and there you will learn, get a, get more perfect and from there you will be transferred to Goloka and then that, then that is called Vastu Siddhi. And then directly when you go, that is called Swarup Siddhi. So, you know, whatever you have, you know, young, whatever you develop, in, in Sakya, you, you become a Sakha, Sakha, Sakha of Krishna there. In Dasya, you become a Das of Krishna there. In Santa, you become a, 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 a plant, a tree, a creeper, a bird, a peacock, a cow, a, a, anything you become there in Shantaras. In, in Vatsal, you become an elder gopi of Krishna there. You serve Krishna there like that. So like that, different, different, you know, uh, different, different, you know, her cherished desires, you know, will become stronger and stronger, and you'll be able to develop bond in that. And when you leave your body, you know, you your 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 consciousness will not be material because you are twenty four hours thinking about those cherished desires, how to attain them, how you are serving in them. You're doing japa, you know, you're doing shavan and kirtan in that mood. So you will have no time for anything else. Your mind will have no time for anything else. And mind means thinking, feeling, and willing. So mind will only think Krishna, feel Krishna, will Krishna. Think about Krishna's pastime, feel about Krishna's pastime, and you know, uh, think, uh, feel about Krishna's pastime, and want to serve Krishna in that in, the, in that form. So mind will be thinking that way, and the senses will act in that way, internally and externally, both ways. You know, you will be able to do it. And when you leave your body, you will you'll be intoxicated. You know, you, because you'll be intoxicated in Krishna seva, Krishna sadhana, and 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 sadhu sangha, you'll be intoxicated, absorbed in those things. So just like a drunkard, you know, a drunkard person when he leaves his body, you know, uh, sorry, a drunkard person, you know, he's walking and sometimes his cap or his coat just falls off. He doesn't even come to know because he's intoxicated with drink, with wine. Similarly, you are intoxicated in Krishna Seva, in Krishna Sangha, in Krishna Sadhana so much that your body is, will act just like a shirt and, you know, that coat and a cap. The drunkard person का जैसे वो घिर जाता है उसको पता भी नहीं चलता है आपको भी नहीं पता चलेगा कि कब आपका body यहाँ छूट गया and you'll be able to enter Krishna Samadhi and you know Krishna Seva and Golok of Vrindavan so this is how this is this is the whole this process you know this is how you use your act, field of work, activity body in Krishna's and and this knowledge how to use that field perfectly is what Krishna has given to Arjun and boy and and the knowable who is the knowable Krishna is the knowable we have to know Krishna with this with all these things, with our Sambandha Gyan, Abhide Gyan and Abhide Sambandha means our relationship with Krishna and Abhide means the process to understand that relationship and Prayojan means attaining that relationship. So Krishna is that attain, that object of our, you know, our sadhana. So that is knowable. So we'll, re, we'll you know, reach that. So only my devotee can understand this thoroughly and thus attain my nature. This is what Krishna is saying. Thank you.